if you're building an AI no-code app, well, first thing you need to do is click the link down in the description because you can access all of our tutorials and courses about building a startup and particularly building a no-code startup. But second is you need to check out Grok, uh, not to be confused with Grok. Uh, this is uh, Elon Musk's uh, Twitter X's Grok, not what I'm talking about. I am talking about Grok spelt with a Q because it is seriously fast. One of the areas that uh, AI applications and in the bubble coaching that I run, I notice a lot of the time with people is that AI gives amazing results, but it seems to take too long to get the responses back. So let me give you a really quick demo and then we will even launch and add this right into a bubble application. Uh, so I've written a system prompt here that you are a social media content creation AI, take the video transcript sent by the user and write a high performing SEO YouTube description. So I'm gonna add in my transcript, here we go. So this is the transcript of a seven minute video that I recorded last week. It's not big, but it also is not small. How quick do you think it's gonna take Grok to reply? Well, let's see, I'm gonna click submit. And there we go. Now that's something that I think you would agree will have taken uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo, GPT 4, or even Claude 3, it would have taken much longer to reply back. So this is seriously something worth experimenting with both in terms of quality and in terms of speed. Because when AI gets as quick as basically clicking a button and there is your answer, then you can, just what you can do with it, uh, you know, the, the horizons, Oh yeah, yeah, you can tell I'm just excited by this. So how would we go about adding this into our bubble application? I'm going to click view code. Uh, and because I've got C around, there we go. Uh, so, uh, I just take this and I add it into bubble. Uh, so let's go into my bubble app and go into the API connector. And add in a connection. And we're going to say uh, private key and header. How do I know that? Well, if I go back to the playground, uh, I see I've got to add an authorization bearer and then my API key. Uh, I need this endpoint here and I need it to be a post command. So let's expand this out and we'll say uh, chat. We're, uh, we'll just say chat. We'll just say chat. Paste in the endpoint, change it to post change this to action. That means I'd be able to access it in a workflow in the future if I wanted. Uh, and then it basically follows a very similar, in fact, I think they have intentionally made this very similar to OpenAI. Um, so let's copy this into here. Um, oh, and that, that's my, oh, it's got the whole conversation. So uh, let's get rid of this. You know what? Just so that it makes a little more sense when copying this across to you guys, I'm going to remove the conversation and just save you code now. Okay, because now all it has got is my system prompt. Let's copy that. Paste it in. Paste it in. There we go. Uh, and then I want to add in my uh, user. Prompt. So I'm just going to copy this, add in a comma, paste it in, change this to user, and then make this bit here dynamic using triangle brackets. It tells me how to do so there. So I'll say uh, user message. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to, for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to say you are a general AI assistant. And uh, we could say, uh, list all the USA presidents from uh, present to past. Okay. Basically, I'm just wanting to show how quick it is. Uh, I need my API key. Let me grab that. So I've added in my API key with the word bearer in front as requested in the documentation. And now let's initialize and test it. Uh, ooh. Okay, I have an error and I've just worked out why that is. It's because I've said that stream is true and Bubble can't yet stream in um, you know, word by word from a uh, AI API. Uh, so let's change that to false and now let's try. 
There we go. And let's look at the full content. Here is the list of presidents, Biden, Trump, Obama. Okay. Yeah. There we go. And we've even got dates. Now, how fast was that? Should we run it again? Uh, so here we go. Let's run again. Three, two, one. Now, part of what make Grok, makes Grok uh, so fast is that uh, and maybe you've bought NVIDIA stocks in the last couple of years because you need this serious computing power to run an LLM and to run it well. But what Grok have done is they've developed their own hardware specifically for uh, AI LLMs. Uh, so unlike the fact that a lot of LLMs will run on hardware which may have initially been intended for gaming, like NVIDIA graphics cards, uh, you, the, Grok have got this speed because they have built a AI, well, no, no, they're using AI models that are freely available, such as ones from Meta, but they've built their own AI hardware. That's what I'm getting at. And so it's the combination with these new exciting models. In fact, let's go back into the playground and just see who are using Llama, uh, from Meta. Uh, and they've got some good documentation here about uh, the pros and cons of, of each one. Uh, you can find that elsewhere on their site. But yeah, they have the hardware advantage because they've built uh, their own compute power instances that uh, are built specifically for running on AI. And that's why it's so quick. So remember, if you're wanting to build a startup and you wanted to do it with no code, then click the link down in the description. But also, I'd love you to share your thoughts on what could be achieved uh, as AI gets faster and faster, where you can generate paragraphs of content, you can input a three, a you know, a seven minute video script, uh, and uh, it basically gives you a response back in a second. Uh, in fact, uh, it tells me down there how quick it was. Uh, so let's run this again. Look so quick indeed in fact it gives me a breakdown of all of the time there we go quarter of a second um and i've missed i've mixed up my system prompt uh let's just do the, the full thing uh so you are an ai assistant um let's remove this right how long does it take to list uh list all the us presidents from present uh to past boom Done. How long did that take? That took uh, less than three quarters of a second uh, to list all of the presidents. Now, I don't know enough about American history to know if that's all true or not, but you can't deny it is very quick indeed. Mm -hmm.